Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking up on our Imagiquarium sea monkeys as well as our sea monkeys on Mars. We're going to be aerating the aquariums and we're going to be feeding them as well. So let's start with our Imagiquarium sea monkeys. Let me take this little lid off. We have our aqua leash right here. We're just going to gently aerate the aquarium. Now I do this every day. The more you aerate it, the better. You know, a lot of people don't aerate it too much, and you know, that's why their sea monkeys don't don't live for a while. But these guys are, uh, before we know it, they're going to be a year old. So that's good. Uh, I feel like when they're younger, you can go a little more aggressive with the stirring, uh, but when they get older. It can damage them, so you want to be careful. Now we're aerating our sea monkeys on Mars. Which these usually need a little more than the other ones. Just the way the aquarium is shaped, the oxygen level can be pretty low. And anytime there's uneaten food in an aquarium, or every time you feed, uh, that drops the oxygen level even more. So you want to, you want to keep up with it. All right. I'm actually going to keep both of these off. Here is our growth food. And again, if you guys watched the earlier episodes, these are made in the USA. There's a lot of off brands with the sea monkeys that don't, um, they don't do as well. Because they're not the original hybridized animals that you get in the American version. One scoop for them. Let's take the time and zoom in a little bit here and see how they're doing. There is a lot of mated pairs. They've been swimming together. There's a lot of eggs and babies in here as well. And now it's feast time. You see them going over the top and grabbing the food. And as the food settles, you know, it starts to dissipate in the water and it starts to uh, go lower down the aquarium and it seems like it's a little easier for them to eat it when that happens. Sometimes I stir the aquarium a little bit just to get make the food go all over the place. All right, put those guys aside. Now let's feed our sea monkeys on Mars. Again, we got the growth food, USA, made in the USA. One small scoop. And we give them that about every five days. I give it to them twice a week. You know, they're starting to get bigger and I stay feeding the small the small side of the spoon actually a lot of the newer ones now don't even have the bigger one but uh, the older brands came with a small scoop and a larger scoop for when they get bigger but I just constantly feed the smaller scoop twice a week rather than a big scoop once a week it's just better on the water chemistry and it keeps everything it keeps everybody happier more balanced let's take a closer look at these sea monkeys on Mars All right, gotta put this lid back on. And there we go. We have our sea monkeys on Mars and our Magicarium sea monkeys. Both just got fed and aerated.
So just want to show you guys what I'm getting ready to open. This is the Sea Monkeys Ocean Volcano. Now this tank's actually a little bigger than the other tanks, so I'm pretty excited to open this up and see how it's all going to work out. Uh, so stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.